Hey guys, and welcome to a very special Whispers of the Old Gods card reveal uh, from Amaz. Uh, first of all, before I start, we want to thank Blizzard for giving us the opportunity to do this. And uh, second, uh, hopefully it's not as bad as Flamelands last time. Remember for, uh, for uh, the Grand Tournament? Uh, they gave us Flamelands to Okay, let's stop. Let's not- let's forget about that one. Um, so, here's the picture of what the card is. And, uh, let's go ahead and review it. It is, of course, a priest card. Uh, it is a- called Shifting Shade. 4 mana, 4, 3, with a death rattle effect. Uh, copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. Now, first, uh, the first look, uh, when I first looked at this, it immediately jumped out as a uh, another cycle card, uh, cycling being that is very close to Under City Huckster. Under City Huckster is a two mana two two that when it dies, it kind of half burgles your opponent. Right, this card when it dies, it half thought steals your opponent, uh, which is pretty cool because it's another um, draw effect. Uh, similar to uh, Polluted Hoarder that's coming up, Gnomish uh, Inventor, uh, and of course. This being a class card, will it is a little bit stronger, I guess, in terms of the stat line. It's a 4-3 instead of the Polluted Hoarder's 4-2. Uh, now, why would you want this card in your deck? Well, if you're actually playing a, um, a matchup where minions do matter, uh, it's actually better than Thoughtsteal, because Thoughtsteal gives you two cards, right? Uh, think of casting Shifting Shade as a... Uh, you know, as a thought steal as well, right? You cast a three mana thought steal and you pay one mana to play a four three every single time, and then uh, you get a card. Now that's not entirely accurate because Shifting Shade does need to die before you get that card. But every time Shifting Shades kill something, for example, if Shifting Shade trades with an Azure, then you're getting a card, which is actually a big, big plus. Uh, obviously, Azure dies as well. Um, well, drew, drew, drew a card for your opponent as well, so that's not the best example. So, uh, the, you know, a better example would some would be something like, you know, uh, even Keep with the Grove, right? You actually trade uh, very well against it. You can also, you know, kill Frog Berserkers, maybe. You know, cards that are just didn't draw anything and you're trading for it, you're going to get a card advantage. And that's exactly what Priest wants. Now, another dimension to this card that uh, we need to remember is that this card, if you're playing this in standard, and you're playing, uh, uh, what's that, uh, the one two mana, two mana one two, the Museum Curator, right? If you're playing Museum Curator in standard, you will have a big chance of discovering this card because it is the only card, only priest card to have death rattle in standard since Dark Cultus is getting rotated out. So, if you want to play with this card, and you could actually not include in this deck at all, uh, you could actually play with Museum Curator, and Museum Curator becomes a 1-2, two, so 2 mana 1-2, two, that makes a 4 mana 4-3, which then copies a card from your opponent's deck. So lots of value once again, right? But you just have to be very careful because the Priest trap is that um, Priest always wins late game, right? Uh, this is a card that also uh, accentuates the late game. Uh, and like, like in fact that you just have so much cards, you just outvalue your opponent, and you always want to bring it to that point. But, well, two mana one twos are very weak in trading uh, against three twos, for example, like Knife Juggler, uh, you know, very aggressive minions. And Shifting Jade is kind of in the same spot. It dies very easily, it's three health. Uh, Quick Shot is still there, uh, thankfully, Shadow Bomb is, uh, you know, uh, rotated out. But it's very easy to deal three damage. Uh, for sure, Wrath is still there, uh, Eagle Horn Bow, you know, Frostbolt. So it's very, very easy, um, easy to die. But, once again, even if your opponent uses a removal on this to deal 3 damage, you, you, you still get a little bit of a plus effect because you still draw a card. So you're kind of trading 2 for 1. That's not, a, that's not a thing that a lot of people uh, recognize, I guess. Because when, uh, let's give a very easy example, like uh, Chill and Yeti, okay? If you're Chill and Yeti in the arena, kills a spider tank, it's already trading 2 for 1 because you're killing something for free and then you get a 4-2. Uh, and the 4-2 pretty much kills something else or your opponent removes it or something like that, right? Uh, Shifty Shade is kind of like Chill and Yeti in that sense, where if your opponent frostbolts it, they spent a card removing it while you're still getting a card in return. So it is a 2 for 1, but um, it's not immediate. It's the, the, 
the uh, board presence is not immediate, like Chill and Yeti. You Chill and Yeti, you already get a 4 2, and you can activate it. Uh, you can attack with it again. You can trade with it again. Uh, Shifting Shade, you do need to draw the card again. Um, the good side is that since we have so many old god decks, like, you know, Cthulhu, like Nazoth, and stuff like that, I think um, the meta might become a bit um, slower. And uh, this is obviously insane in slow in slower matchups, right? Uh, you don't even get to draw from your deck, so you don't fatigue yourself that fast in the super long, you know, control warrior matchups. And uh, coupled by the fact that uh, you, you know um, you can actually copy some insane legendaries that we are seeing, and Blizzard hasn't announced their nerfs yet on some cards. Um, we got we got some hints of like you know. Maybe the Druid combo is getting nerfed, maybe some direct damage spells are getting nerfed and stuff like that. It really depends, right? Uh, this card does have a lot of promise and actually, like actually, if I'm looking at this card and Foster at the same time, I would actually want, want to run this card a little bit more because it's more, um, it's more consistent, right? You're always going to get a minion. Um, so it still sucks against Rogue, for example, because you still don't want Deadly Poison or Blade Flurry. So uh, you, you just have to be careful with that. But with the new decks coming up this should be good this should trade two for one it's another uh control control card for a priest uh which well priest is always going to get that but think about it right like what other four drops do we run in priest right now we run our soul priest and that's it so now having another option of akanai and shifting shade and still having the same game plan of going to the late game is pretty decent so um i'm actually okay about this card uh, when I first saw it, I was like, uh, it's three health, it's kind of bad. But when I thought about it a bit more, it's, it's actually not bad, right? As, as long as it trades for something, right, uh, it's fine, right? If it dies against something, for example, if Shifting Shade dies to, like, a Drew of the Claw, then it's a little bit bad, because you deal four damage to something and it still didn't kill it, and you draw a card, and you still have to deal with the minions, it's really bad. But if you can actually kill something with this, or, um, you know, pressure make your opponent's uh, board look really weird, this is going to be really good in the late game. So, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, we're going to have another card review, uh, review, which is me looking at all the cards uh, on Monday. Hopefully, we have more people uh, announcing the cards and Blizzard re releases more cards. And, of course, there's going to be a uh, Hearthstone stream event at 21st, right? So, after that, we can review the cards. And after all the cards are released, uh, we are going to do one more final review of everything since we saw the whole set and see um, which cards I think are going to be the top contenders in both standard and arena and which cards are well your uh, 400 dust uh, instant disenchant and stuff like that right uh, good we'll see you guys later thanks for watching and um, yeah check out my stream my stream schedule is 8 a.m. Uh, PDT uh, weekdays so if you're watching this on YouTube which you are I'm recording uh, check it out sometime Thanks for watching, bye!